Hi guys, in the last video I, I hinted that there was a problem with my code where I was relying on multiple points in the code and the scenes to define a value for the minimum volume setting for the audio. So in this one I've corrected it in the code. So I've got a variable now called min volume and I've removed that constant I, where I was defining the minimum volume here in the GUI.gd script or, or rather it was in the main script I think anyway in the GUI script we've got this variable of min volume and in the ready function we look at the the music slider and check its like minimum value that we set we're gonna set that in like a design mode we're gonna this will dictate throughout the the game what the minimum minimum value for audio will be. So when the ready function runs, all the nodes are in place. So we can we can go set this min volume variable there min vol. We set it by finding the node that is called music, which is this slider, and we get the min value with this this function that is available with the, the range properties of the, the music slider and we will also apply the min volume setting to the sound node there it is there the sound node so in case that has a different just to make it have the same value we, we set it by code where are we? Let's go there. Yeah, so we go find node sound and then use the set min function and apply the min volume, which is going to be the same as the music node. So we got the min volume there. And then we can access it from the main.gd script since we're storing a reference to the GUI. And we're going to go GUI.minvol in our script when we need to use that value so there's another thing as well what I've done here I've added some utility functions two of them one for music and one for sound that says is the music on if it is it, ret it returns true or false otherwise and the same for sound so the way to determine if the music is on is the GUI dot music value, which is the actual volume setting on the, the range, the slider control. Is it greater than this thing we just defined, the GUI dot min volume value? The GUI dot min volume, min vol value. So rather than having this in multiple places within our code, which isn't that readable, we have this nice meaningful function there called music is on. And the same for sound is on. And we're going to use that in several places, namely in the button pressed uh, signal handling like uh, match thing that we are referring to in other videos. So in the music one, when the music button, when the music slider value is changed, this 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 code is actioned, and then before we had this com a comparison there, but we instead we we're going to just say if the music is on, then do the following, you know, play the music. It's a very like a uh, very easy to understand, isn't it? The readable code. And then the same in the sounds one. We're going to go if the sound is on, then we're going to say, oh, we're changing the sound value like that. And then one thing I didn't test the scene very thoroughly where we were, where we were playing music and and uh, starting a game, and when the slider was set to have no music and so forth. And so I've. It, it was like there was a way to get it to play music when you didn't want music to play and basically the problem was we we missed out a little bit of logic which we should have done 
so you say you hit the pause button you need to like really check that is music on well if if you hit pause and the state is playing the state of the game is playing if the music is on then you can pause the music obviously and then else you're resuming so but if the music is on then you play the music because you're resuming playing before I didn't have this logic there I just said music play so you could you could pause when the music was actually off and then if you resume it would have played the music when it was previously off so therefore we have to have this logic there to only like play when it should be playing and there was another one not strictly necessary maybe but yeah it is actually because uh, when you start the game you want to play music only if the slider is saying that yes the music should be played because it's got some volume there and then the, when the game over was coming I was I was um, calling the music stop function although the music may have not been playing so that's not, you don't, not a big problem but it's better to have this this uh, condition here if the music is on then you can stop it that that um, helps with the diagnostic messages they're not confusing anymore because they operate correctly you know they they say music was changed when you know it did actually be changed and music was stopped when it is act was previously playing rather than before it could be stopped even though it wasn't it was stopped already so that's just an update on the the changes to the the code yeah and then uh, these this was uploaded to github as a new revision so, you, so if you download the code now it will have these updated changes in there so i look forward to seeing you in the next video like and subscribe if you like this content thank you over and out from andy the genie script dude